TikTokers. Most of us are on TikTok every single day, so you always see one. Some of them, are, some of them are nice. Some of them are not. I mean, I would, I would say I'm, a, I'm a TikToker. I mean, I use it for my channel. I, I upload funny videos of myself on TikTok, so I would say I'm a TikToker. But in the past month, there's this one TikTok, TikTok. I can't even speak. There's this one TikToker that has been really pissing me off in the last past months. And um, yeah, today we're gonna talk about him. And it's the name of Alphaba. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna be reacting to some of her videos of why she needs to get off TikTok and she's not a nice person. Um, but yeah, if you don't know who it is, you've been living under a rock or something, I don't know. But basically, this trans girl, boy to girl, has uh, been. Has got all the attention she's wanted since she joined TikTok, and she's not a nice person to all of her fans. And she just turns out to be an absolute twat and using TikTok for money and views and attention. But she's got it now, and she's frustrated. So today we'll be looking at a few TikToks of her, and me sharing my opinion of her. Which a few of you guys have actually asked my opinion of this TikToker, and today I'm fine here. I am apologising though. I've not done a reaction video in a while, so here you are. Hope you guys enjoy, and let's get straight into today's video. So the first video we'll be looking at is this one. Um, as I said, the past two months I've been properly concentrating on her to do a video. And also with that, I've saved a lot of videos I think we need to talk about, about this girl, Alphaba. And uh, yeah, this is gonna show evident of why she's not a nice person, she's a bit of a maniac. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and let's start with this video, it's about two minutes long, and um, yeah, someone put God love her, she makes my day so much better with these reactions. I think someone, I think this person's taking the piss, um, but you'll understand, you'll understand why they're taking the piss, if you don't know her. I go to my drama school, but no, I've fucked it up now because people make lies about me all the time for fucking content and views. I'm all alpha spotting in Bristol, alpha spotting in this and that. Don't make yourself look like a div then. Don't do videos like, like this, then people won't take the piss out. If you're frustrated on TikTok, or if you're really like stressed and down, do not make a TikTok about it. That is the worst thing you can do. Or even in or Instagram story or Snapchat story. Don't post about how you actually feel. Because you will get that attention and you will get negative feedback from it. So I don't know what she expects. I... <laughs> right. And then you laugh at me, laugh at me, and laugh at me, and laugh at me, and just make fun of me. What a lovely life. Get a job. You get a fucking job. Go do your job and get off my fucking live stream. Your shift started, love. Piss off. Someone's got rage issues. Uh, this is what I mean. She doesn't talk to her fans. Very well. Not the fans' fault you're a div. And you're just raging for no reason because people are actually telling truths about you and you just want to be in denial about it. No, it's not the fans' fault. At all. And this is why a lot of people complain because she's really nasty. And another thing that's been going around since she joined TikTok, if you're nasty to her in any sort of form or... You know, say one thing, little tiny thing negative about her, she says it's transphobic. Well, that's not right, is it? Just because they've said one thing, probably not from your appearance, probably from your stupid personality, that's what means it's transphobic. That's why a lot of people hate her, because she's, she's, just representing the LGBTQ, I don't know the rest of the letters, I apologise, the community, she's letting them down because she's trans and stuff, but by how she's treating her fans 
And I think personally, and a lot of people, I've seen it, I've been on a few of her lives in the past month, she's using her views as money and just to get paid. She doesn't care about her fans. And that's upsetting for the community, but also TikTok, because not everyone's a div on TikTok, but she's the biggest div I've known. <laughs> well, it's carrying the video. I've got so much to say about her. Get off then, you get off lad, you got your chef lad, go piss off! I have a job. Angry because man. social media is a fucking job. I'm not gonna fucking chill when my fucking address gets leaked. When people turn up to this door, when people- Stop complaining! If you don't want people to know what you're doing, if you don't want people to know where you are, do not Say it on live. Don't leak it yourself. I have seen on live, she takes it in turns talking to other people. And fully enough, she picks the people that to have an argument with. So she gets attention and people on her side. But she's actually leaked herself where she is. Okay? She travels around. There's this other TikToker on here. Um, Chelsea Liar, I think her name is. She used to go and live there for a bit. And she, uh, she used to, she's a TikTok as well, and she still goes live now. So obviously, if both of you are going live, telling each other what's going on and where you're going, people will know. I don't understand what she's saying now. And the biggest thing is, if you can't stand people trying to find out where you are, what you're doing, don't join social media. Do not go on TikTok, don't go live, don't post videos for people to look at and comment at and ask questions. If you don't want them sort of questions, don't go on social media. I don't get this woman. And this is why a lot of people don't get her. <sighs> You've lied about Tourette's and social anxiety but go out every night. That's another thing. Uh, so a few weeks ago, I do have, I don't know if I'll have evidence ready for the edit of this video, but I do have evidence of a video. There is this woman on TikTok and her daughter is severely suffering with Tourette's and she posts videos of them to get awareness out there. She's such a sweet lady. I've been a on a few of her lives and she's not fake whatsoever. And Alpha Burr faked her Tourette's because a few months ago, like, for some of her lives, she was, like, having tics and Tourette's attacks and stuff. But now, all of a sudden, they've stopped. If you have Tourette's, it doesn't just stop. It it just doesn't stop. That's not what Tourette's is. Or tics are. It just, Yes, they happen randomly. But I've seen a lot of her lives and videos. She, funnily enough, does not have Tourette's or have tics anymore. And social anxiety, I suffer with that a little bit, so don't take the piss out of that. <laughs> I'm not joking, but yeah, let's carry on with the video. People turn up outside when people try and think they can do what the fuck they want to me. Treat me like a fucking mouse. Trap me in my own home. Don't go on social media. Don't be a trap to your fans that are actually trying to support you. Another funny story about this thing. I'm going to... I'm going to get really nasty now because I'm fed up of how she's speaking to people. Um, there was I, I've been in this live, I think it was actually last week, because um, I'm still trying to gather research for this video, and someone gifted her, I think, was it a 15 or £20 pound, uh, thing on TikTok, and she complained, and her exact words, why wasn't it 50 or 100 I deserve better than that. Someone's giving you money, be fucking grateful. How? This is why no one likes her. Someone's giving you some sort of money. Be fucking grateful you're actually getting it. She asked for 50 or 100. How deceitful. This is why no one likes her. I hope this video blows up a little bit. Share it, send it to people, get it out there, put it on TikTok to all you guys listening and watching because TikTok needs to get her banned because I'm fed up how she's talking to people and she's getting away with it because she's still live streaming and stuff. 
She's got like seven accounts because she's been banned and gotten back. I don't know what the hell TikTok's doing, but they need to get the finger out their ass and ban her and just kick her from the app. I shouldn't have to act like this. I shouldn't have to shout. No, just don't. Like, if you get a negative comment or whatever, just leave it be. Right? I always get negative comments. Every single video I do, or post on TikTok, I get some comment, Oh, why'd you do that for? You're boring or whatever. I leave it, because I know how, I know how to actually deal with it. But if you, can't, if you physically know you can't deal with them sort of comments, do not go... She's saying all this on live as well, you can see. I think it's on Instagram, because she's got kicked off TikTok again. But if you can't handle the negative comments, if you mentally can't handle it, and physically, do not go live. Don't post videos. Like, what? I t There's nothing else I can say. What an actor and a bad one. <laughs> Move then. Looks like a fun job. <laughs> People are so brutal. But no wonder why she's treating everyone like shit. And she's lying to herself. Again, any questions about this person or this video or me or whatever, put it in the comments below. I'll gladly answer them. But you, there's an only one person so much someone can take. What an actor and a bad one. Fuck off. Fuck off. You absolute obsessed twat. Obsessed twat. Okay. Here's a question for you, Alphabet. Who's the one that's always going live and every single one I've joined, she asks someone to join. Herself, she asks someone to join and starts an argument. And that's not obsessive? No? That's not an obsessive twat? No? No wonder why people are saying these comments. Why are you treating people like shit? You're asking people to join your live and... Nice, decent people do join, say their opinion like I'm saying mine right now, and she says it's just transphobic and then shouts and gets views and stuff and she complains. She can't handle social media, she needs to get the fuck off this app, she needs to get off Instagram, she can't handle it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a tough video, but God, please tell people about her. Like if you use TikTok or whatever, get this video out, share this video. Just unfollow her if you follow her. Yeah, I know it might be fun to tease her and stuff, but you're giving her the attention that she wants but does not deserve at all. So please, just get awareness out to to everyone. Do not watch her. Don't give her the attention that she wants. It is not hard to click the goddamn X button, is it, if you want to hate? No, it's not. But then, for your case, it's not difficult to be nice when no one's actually done anything to you. It's not difficult, is it? Because decent people have joined, joined your lives and give you gifts and you're just nasty back. It's not difficult to be nice to someone when they're being nice back. It just shows her personality a little bit. She's a bit of an absolute wanker. <laughs> Honestly... God, she infuriates me a little bit. Do you know all I wanted to do on TikTok is to sing. That's all I wanted to do. All I wanted to do was to inspire people. But no, it's caused me to become a fucking nutcase. And let me tell you why. Why? Social media is a fucking toxic place. And none of you who are not influencers do not know what it feels like. Only people with a following will understand me. You have to have over a hundred fucking thousand followers to understand what I go through. That's not a lot. Sorry, I just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I was drinking a bit of wine. I know it was. I was just enjoying what she's saying. But again, it kind of just went in one ear and out the other. I was just enjoying my wine. <laughs> <laughs> she frustrates me so much. Um, 
No, I think a lot of people know what you're going through. Don't you dare stand there and say you don't know what's what what you what you're going through. A lot pe a lot more people are going through a lot more worse than you, and you can't say that because you don't know a lot of people inside life. You don't know you don't know everyone's mental health. You don't know what's going on with their families or friends or whatever. So you can't stand there. You don't understand. I understand your trans and stuff, and you've got a bit of hate for it. But don't treat nice people like shit and expect it back. That's what I tell. That's what I tell you guys. If you be nice to me, I'll be nice to you. But if you have, well, I'm not giving anyone any more chances anymore. If you just have a go at me at some sort, expect it back because I've done nothing to you and you've just argued with me for no reason. So again, ex expect the hate back. And um, she needs to open her eyes a little bit and uh, last. Been, remain in brain cells and actually think what she's doing for a minute because I think <laughs> knowing her and her age I think she's 19 actually she's acting she's acting my nephew which is two um, <laughs> but um, she needs to realize that it's not all about money and views and attention it's actually turned out to a shit show and no wonder why you're treating everyone like shit I don't need to say it again, but yeah, carry on why I enjoy my wine. Or 50k at least. If you are, if you've got amazing engagement. Go to my drama school, but no, I... No. Um, I think there's a video somewhere around here. She's calling herself famous, but I've been on her channel. Wait. Oh, evidence. 198,000. That's not a lot whatsoever. I follow this artist on TikTok and she's got about 17.2 million. I would say that's famous. 100,000's not really famous at all. I mean, TikTok's dead easy. It's just one button you can follow and like. Any other platform's quite difficult. But TikTok's easy. It is it's easy. So I won't call her famous, but let's have a look at another one of her videos, salary that I've saved. Alphabet is now charging £5 for a photo. You've got to be kidding me. This can't be Afford boring. it. Um, then I do apologise, I won't be taking a photo of you. So what I'll do is, is from now on, I'll hold out a card reader. And again, this just shows a bit of her, bit about her personality a little bit. She's in this for the money. She's actually asking five pound for a photo. Oh, I hold a card reader in it. What's that say about someone? I don't think any actor I've ever known and done research on says they will hold a card reader out to have a photo. Because there's a lot of actually decent people out there. It's just your twat alphabet. <laughs> what, what else you got to say? That's what I'll be doing. And it'll be a fiver I felt home. I'll make a fucking fortune, to be honest. Oh, away. again, talk about money. Not about the fans. She don't care if you can't afford it. And the actual people that's supporting her, she's in it for the money. We all just need to start because it just shows from that video, she's just using us for money. So guys, if you watch her, just don't. Don't watch her. Okay, this TV next video. shows, right? Do you know, like, the Kardashians? People were talking about it all the time now. I'm being the topic now. I am the topic that people talk about. I'll me, 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 me. Oh my god. You're delusional. You really are, Alphabet. On the new Kardashian show. No, people are actually, there's a lot of people out there making videos like I am, getting awareness for people to actually see and understand that she's a twat and she, TikTok needs to ban her and kick her from the whole app because this is a nightmare. Like, it's not fair to a lot of people that's actually supporting her and gifting her money and followers and stuff. I don't know how it works. But there's a lot of people out there that are still doing that through all this. And then poor people that are spending money on her. And she's just using it. God, guys, please. Just please open your eyes a little bit. She is a twat. Hear it from me. Alphabet's gone to Blackpool. Alphabet's gone to... <laughs> <laughs>
Clement. Oh my god, Alpha's gone to Bristol. What she oh my god, let's see if she's going to a nightclub. Nightclubs, oh my god, what nightclub is she at? What nightclub is she at? Oh my god, what's her friends? Oh my god, what's her friend's phone number? I know how to work this app. Like the button No you don't. Like the button of the back of that my hat. That'll make sense out but I think you need to go back to English because that sentence is not formed correctly. <laughs> If you've worked the app so well, and if you've told everyone the right things, how come now, two years down the line, you're still getting hate? Give it a minute, answer that, answer that question for me. Sorry? Oh wait, yeah, you can't answer it. You wanna know why Alphabet? You know you you know wanna why you I can't speak. <laughs> you wanna know why you can't answer that question? It's because you well, full stop, you don't know how to answer it. Because you're only in TikTok for the attention and the money. You've got the money now, you've got their attention, and if you're complaining if you're complaining and fed up of people's negative comments, do not do short clips of you being delusional saying we have to pay now to have a photo and complaining that you've dropped out of school or acting crass or whatever because of your fans and stop being mean to your fans that are actually supporting you and giving you money it just all adds up to her as a person and a personality that she's just a twat. <laughs> it makes sense. It just makes sense. It's a lot of effort being a girl, isn't it? Fucking hell. So you gotta wake up, know what you gotta wear, just gotta match, and you gotta use what handbag, and you gotta do your hair, do your makeup. You don't have to. It's your choice. You've become a girl. I comment here. Okay, this is so insult to women, seriously. Yeah, it is. Sorry, but no. No trans woman can ever say they know what it's like being a woman. You never know, sorry, but it's true. I agree. I agree. If you're not born as a girl or woman, you don't know entirely what women go through because you wasn't one. And I get that. As negative as it might say and seem, but it's true. But I agree with the first comment. Okay, this is insult to women, seriously. Makeup, girl. It's exhausting. That's why I don't bother, because it's just so much effort. She doesn't bother because it's so much effort. That's insulting to the trans community. It really is. And this is what I mean. This is why people are taking the piss out of her. Because she's so insulting to not everyone that's following her fans and stuff it's actually insulting the trans community as well like she can't be bothered to be a girl so i'm just not i'm not gonna bother being being a girl today it's your choice at the end of the day if you're fed up with your choice change it but you're not gonna because you know what will happen and you're gonna get answers you don't want to get she needs to get off the app honestly but you know i am a girl i know my identity it's just like it's so much effort it's your choice. Don't complain what your choice is and what you've chosen for your life. Don't complain to other people what you've done. Because why would you complain to someone what you've chosen to do in your life or chosen to be? Why are you complaining to other people? Don't choose it. If you're not happy with it, change it. I don't I don't I don't get this comment at all. I don't get what she's saying. That's why I just put on makeup. How lazy is that? And again, insulting to women. That's why she just put makes up on to c to cover that she she's not washed in a few days because she can't bother to be a girl that she's chosen to be. So insulting. So insulting. Yeah, that's all we do. No, I'm not saying that's all you do. Don't be silly. Only parts of it, like getting dressed and stuff. Like that's the part. That's the hard part for me. Getting dressed is a hard part. What? 
So you're so, so you're saying going out and about and um, getting all the attention and the views and the money you've got from that is not an effort going out there and being bullied? No? Okay, so what, what's that show you? What's that show you? She did all that and it's fake. It's an act. Because she's gone out there and got the attention and the money she's wanted and she's just said for being a girl for her that just getting dressed is the worst part. Not being bullied out on the street, no. Because you know why? From all them videos and live streams, she's got the money and she's happy and she's got, brought a place. That shows how bad she is. No, I'm not doing any more on her. I can't be bothered. She's, she's such an in denial, absolute wanker. Lying shit face. <laughs> I've got nothing else to say. It's actually shocking. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you think about what I've said or what she said in the video. And everyone's all open to your own opinions. If you don't like what I said, please tell me. I, I don't mind at all. And what she said, ju just let me know what you think about it. But I'm probably not going to do a video on this again. <sighs> I hate these sort of people. This is why I hate TikTokers. They're just there for the money and the views nowadays. There's just no point. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. A lot of you requested this video. So there you go. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.